Hey guys, this is Jay Fish Hero, and I'm here today with an adventure map. Today we are playing Mynesia by Cygnos, I think. I think it's Cygnos. We can look in the description to see for sure. But today we are playing Mynesia by Cygnos. So let's go ahead and get going on the map. As you can see, the texture pack, or the resource pack I should say, has changed the Minecraft logo up here. Just something that looks extremely amazingly HD and awesome and boss and all those cool words everybody uses like, you know, whatever. Let's go in here. So, that's when I was playing solo. This one is Mynesia video series. So, it's called Mynesia Dark Rift. Uh, I think it's created by Cygnos. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, I've been actually going around, and, as you can see, creative mode. Going around, looking around for... Um, you know, just check, go into the map, I've played through the whole map, but I've gone through really fast in creative mode, so it doesn't really count. And I've just kind of been looking at all the side quests and seeing just where I'm going to go with the series, so I'm not completely lost the whole time. And I'll try to make it look like I'm not knowing what I'm doing the whole time. I will warn you, this first episode is probably going to be pretty boring. Um, or at least, not pretty boring, but it will be more boring than the rest of the series, because once we get into the actual challenges of this game... This is one of the best adventure maps I've ever played. I mean, honestly, once we get into the castle, Ravenrock Castle, it is so, so cool. It is like a Zelda game, and I love Zelda. And it's scary, because it's based on Amnesia. It's based on Amnesia, Zelda, and one of the games that I can't remember. But, you know, when we get to the end, it will tell us, and I can tell you then. But, you know, it's really cool. So, I suggest you guys go download this map. I'll put the link in the description. You should play it out. Play it. But even, even like, one of the things that makes this map... So cool is its amazing resource pack. So, eerie voice. Do you remember? Have you ever wondered what your true origins are? You are adopted, you know as much. But from who? The barriers holding you from your true nature are broken. Your past will come to haunt you, J. Fisher. How does it know my name? There is no escape. You will enter the gates of Ravenrock and death will follow. Climb the stairs of destiny and let go. Only then will you know your true purpose. What a strange dream. Hashtag strange dream. No, I'm just kidding. That's all here. Okay, so, that was just, like, the weird, like, dream intro. I don't actually know how that, like, plays out with the rest of the story. I mean, like, the Raven Rock Castle I mentioned, which is a big part of the story of this map. But, I mean, really, it doesn't really, this map doesn't really ch tell you what your true origins are, unless, I mean, like, I missed something when I was playing through it. Yeah, or who you're adopted from. That could just be from, like, the games it's based on. But anyway, as you can see, I'm using the Amazing Resource Pack. It's a really cool animated torch texture and that's a diamond up there but I'm not going to take it because it's breaking the rules and there's a bed and then there is here is the um micro displayer and there's a tutorial but I don't know if I really want to do the tutorial because it's really basic it's basically I'll just do the tutorial really quick so basically the tutorial tells you if you double tap W you'll sprint and if you jump when you sprint you um jump further than normal um, also, it tells you that if you hold a torch here, if you hold a torch, it will give off light so, you, light, so you don't even have to place it. However, that's if only if you have the Dynamic Lights mod installed, which I do not have installed. I can't get um, Forge Mod Loader to work on my computer. Instead of making the installer an executable jar file, it makes mine a, like a WinRAR archive jar file. So I can't download any mods with Forge, which is horrible and I wish I could but I can't and the other thing it tells you here is you can stand on ladders with some ladder parkour which I failed at but I got to eventually and also it tells you that the only block you can destroy is netherrack but that doesn't come till we get further into the story and it has an importance to the story which is really cool and you can hear some of the really cool music playing because may I remind you this is a resource pack so sounds can be edited thank you minecraft it is so much better now that sounds can be edited I love it. It even makes some of the mobs talk to you. Like there's this one um, like zombie basically that you're trying to kill. He's like a boss. 
and he talks to you as you're defeating him, and it's so cool, and when you kill him, he's like, The grave shall not hold me for long. It's like, so cool. It's just like my favorite, it's so awesome. It's like making a whole new video game. So let's play the welcome disc so you can enjoy some of the music, and let's uh, read the book that we can hear. Alright, Mynesia, Dark Rift, Tips. Chests often contain valuable items. Double tap W to sprint. Books often give you clues. This is stuff everybody knows. Tap the space button while sprinting to do a double jump. Holding down the shift button will reduce mob threat and prevent you from falling off edges. The grave won't hold the dead for long. Running is not a bad idea. Remember to set your spawn at checkpoints and your chests are, are connected. If you have an abundant amount of items you don't need, toss them into the lava with Q. Monsters won't follow you if you close the door behind you. Use music discs often to set the mood. Have fun and explore. Mod installed, which I don't have the mod installed so this doesn't apply to me, but if you do have the mod installed, the torch will light up the area around you if you hold it, and golden items will light up areas. Alright, so I've got to cut for a second, but I'll be right back and we'll head out on our adventure. Alright, and I'm back. Alright, and I'm back. This is Jay Fushiro, back, and that was some lag. Alright, so I'm going to try to hurry this up. I've taken a lot longer than I wanted to so far. I've got to hurry. I'm kind of on a time constraint today. So just kind of showing off the resource pack. Really cool. Um, I don't know if you can actually hear the music because of, you know, me being in the way. But if you can, pretty awesome. Um, that's really cool right there. Alright, so let's get going. So as you can see, there's like a creeper head over there. The creepers don't actually look like that. I kind of wish they actually did look like that, but they don't. And I'm already running low on food, so hopefully somebody down here will have some food for me. Oh, look, it's the cook. And the cook doesn't have any food for me. <laughs> Fail, cook. Chest. Has nothing in it. Let's go outside. The cook says, Jay Fishiro, could you fetch me a fish or two? Just toss them into this chest behind you, which is over there. But that is a side quest. And I'm not doing any side quests as of yet in this series. I'm just going to focus on this. Alright, so chapter one, Rift. Alright, so with no side quests, we're just going to go straight into this. And we're going to just get through here and get through the beginning, the exposition, so we can get to the actual story. However, I'm going to go like run into some of these places and grab some food going to ignore him he basically just wants me to check out the well I can't even do that right now in the story because I don't have the item I need ah fishing rod go away alright however I'm gonna do this one little side quest I'm gonna get a bow and some arrows and here's a tip in this mini game they collect as many arrows as you can because you will be using them nowhere near the beginning but towards the end You'll start shooting buttons and things like this just to um, get through the game. So collect any arrows you can find. Alright, so I got an iron sword from that. You can unfortunately not take any bows with you. They just disappear when you cross over this tripwire. And you can't jump over the tripwire, unfortunately. So you cannot take any bows with you, even though I wish you could. There's nothing in the barn. Honestly, trust me there, there's nothing in the barn. So what we're going to do is, is that the manor I guess? That's supposed to be my manor? Alright, maybe, okay. What's down here then? Yeah, that must be my manor. Anyway, what is the well? Wait a second, I want to go down there real quick. I've never been down here. Alright, now I don't want to be down here. Too creepy. Too creepy. Alright. Well, maybe we'll do that later in like a side series. After the series is over, we'll do all the mini quests and everything. Alright. Oh man, I'm already out of food again. Good heavens, I have to eat all this bread. Alright, so what I need to get now is a horse. If I close it again, it'll be like, try to tame a horse by right-clicking on it. Do this until the horse accepts you. Here, take the saddle. Alright, so what horse should I take? I already know what horse I'm going to take. I'm going to take the brown one, because these other ones 
Eh, I just don't like the looks of them. White and black is okay, but this brown one looks pretty good. So he's going to try to buck me off. No, you don't, horse. I'm going to get right back on, bucking Bronco. Let's go. Speaking of Broncos, how about Peyton Manning and throwing all seven touchdown passes? That's pretty cool. Record opening game, right? My dad has him on his fantasy football team, and he's crushing all of us right now. Oh, is it tamed already? Thank you, horse, for cooperating. That was, that was pretty good. All right, so I'm going to get on my horse now. And jump the fence. Ah, oh, jump the fence. Come on, jump the fence, horse. Jump the fence. Ah, he's done it every single time before. Why do you want to do it now? There we go. And, but I do have to open the lever anyway. All right, so we're going to come through here. Alright, armory key. This opens the armory. Oh wow, fail. That wasn't much of an obstacle course. I don't know why it's called the obstacle course. So anyway, what we get is the armory key, and that's really important to this uh, map. There's a lot of keys that you collect as you go along. I don't have a lead, so unfortunately I can't like just leave my horse here and he'll probably wander away, but we'll go find him. He does. Oh, don't want to throw that away. No siree, Bob. No, we want to have that. Alright, so open this. Over here are some torches, which we can place as we go if we want to. Instant health potion. And armor. And somebody's already talking. The dead have risen from the graves. Flee in terror. All is lost. Gatekeeper. I've opened the gates, Jay Fishiro. Mount up and ride. Let me just say, for one thing, the, ga the gatekeeper needs to be fired. Honestly. He needs to be fired. The dead are coming out from the graves to slay the civilians. What does the gatekeeper do? He opens the gate. What would we do without the gatekeeper? We'd probably survive, honestly. I mean, dumb gatekeeper. All right. So I gotta ride out. Yeehaw! Whoa! Somebody needs to mow the lawn. Seriously, this is so creepy. Like, has nobody in the city been out for like hundreds of years or something? All right, let's set our spawn at the checkpoint. Oops. Checkpoint. And it just. Alright, here we are. Sadness disc. So, there isn't actually a record player right now, or a jukebox right now, anywhere nearby, but there will be one later. So, honestly, that happens a lot. You have to just wait till you find the jukebox to play them. Here's the apple merchant. He doesn't actually have any apple. He doesn't actually come out. I don't know why he's here. And there's nothing in the chest. So, there really isn't anything in this village but just burning buildings. Trust me, I've explored it. I haven't found anything. Oh, and the horse likes to get stuck right here too. I don't know why. Come on. Go. 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 Jump the fence. You can do it. There we go. I don't think there's anything down there. Nope, just water. Yep. So there's not really anything in this village. You just come right through here. I guess like the dead came and burned it all or something. I don't know really, but I'm guessing. Yeah, there are still people inside the homes that are just standing there doing nothing. Alright, I literally have two minutes left to cut and go make dinner, so I'll probably have to cut this right in the middle. But that's okay. Oh, so I'm hit checkpoint and open the center chest there's something I forgot to do so let's put in this fishing rod because we don't we really don't need the fishing rod right now we're not doing that side quest you might want to do it later so I'll just put it in the inner chest and you see these spawners with things spinning in them right there but honestly they're not really working right now because they never do but they mobs spawn where they're supposed to so die husk they're, all of them are named so there's no like anonymous mobs. Alright. Oh, left shift. Gonna go in here. Gonna grab some 
food. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do for the rest of this video. And then I'm going to tell you where we're going to end off. So there's, oh, there's only one. Normally there's two down there. Oh, maybe the other ones are over there killing my horse. Nope. Perfectly fine. Oh, he's over there. So there's just... Okay, so there are two. Alright. So those guys will start attacking me as soon as I go back down. That horse is there. So basically we're going to go through that tunnel. There's going to be another village on the other side. I'm going to end off the video. And there we will... Um, after I end of the video, the next time in the next episode, that will be when the real awesomeness of this adventure map starts to happen. That's when all the challenges start coming. This has just been kind of an introduction to what happens in the map, how to play. And then after this, it all goes downhill from here. Or uphill, depending on like, if you think creepy castles full of skeletons that are trying to kill you is uphill. I mean, I'd consider it downhill, but it is fun to play. So, this is Jfish Hero. I don't know why I'm doing my sign out because I'm not signing out yet. Alright, let's go through that tunnel. Let's sign out. I have to hurry up because I have to go make dinner. So, let's get on my horse. Let's ride. Bam! Bam! Get owned, husk! Oh, another one. Die, 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 die. I think I'm hitting my own horse. Oh, is somebody firing from behind me? Yeah, there were, there were three. That's a first. I've never had to fight three here before. All right. See, horses in Minecrafting are a little glitched out. They could do better with horses. All right, we're coming up here towards the next village. Come on. Ow! Smash through that block. Here we come. And an iron gate. And unfortunately, you can't get through here with the horse. I know it's so sad. I have to leave the horse already. Kind of makes you feel scared because you're all by yourself now, right? I mean, ooh, you just started meeting some skeletons and you already have to leave your horse behind. I mean, that's a little creepy. All right, so here we go. To the side path. Also, why have an iron gate if you have like a little side path right there? That's the worst security system ever. I mean, seriously. Oh, but my brother's walking in here for the end of the video. Does anyone help me sign out? All right, so this is chapter two. We finished chapter one. Chapter 2 will be Shade Park Village. Our fishing rod is still in there. So, this is Jay Fashiro signing out. See you in Chapter 2. And it's going to get a lot better from here, guys. It's going to be real intense. Thanks so much for watching.